Alright guys, let's talk about U-Trips. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite, favorite plays out of U-Trips. This is really good against any kind of blitz that you're going to get, specifically DB Fire 2. I know that you faced uh, some DB Fire 2 in your life, and we're going to show you how to beat it in this video. Now, if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, I would really encourage you to check out my Patreon. That's where the ebook is. You actually get access to all of my Madden 23 offensive and defensive ebooks when you become a member. It's only 10 dollars to become a member and like i said you get access to everything all ebooks all updates every new ebook as well while your membership is active so if you want to sign up for that head down to the description below you can click the link down in the description the play we're taking a look at today is y option wheel and a really simple setup you don't need any uh hot route abilities whatsoever for this setup uh, you don't even need i would prefer you have set feet lead but i'm not going to be using set feet lead in this video we're going to show you some really cool stuff about wheel routes um, I think wheel routes are making their way back into the game. Uh, surprise, surprise. They've been good for years in Madden. But we're going to show you why this play is so powerful. So why option wheel. And the setup here is we're going to flat re-flat route this, uh, this slot receiver. And then we're going to out route the tight end. And we're just going to motion the slot across. So you see here, really simple setup. Now, if it is a blitz and they are in zone, you are throwing that route every single time that you can. You are throwing that route every single time that you can. Again, you're gonna flat your slot, you're gonna outroute this guy. When you snap, you wanna motion him over. You kinda wanna pretend like he's gonna be on like a streak or something, and that's gonna change how your opponent is going to defend you uh, in this formation. A lot of people that defend u trips know by now that it's really hard to you know play zone on this side, so they're gonna do something like this. However, whenever you motion this guy across, they can't man him up on the running back anymore. So now they're going to man him up on to that player, and it's going to leave your running back, aha, untouched, right? If they blitz you, you have the running back standing wide open to the left side. So the only way that they can stop the, the running back route is to user it after they make all of these uh, all of these adjustments. So uh, to give you a little bit of a glimpse of that, we're going to man the running back up here, and then we're going to uh, have our right side. So when we see the user kind of spin or, or lurk hard uh, to the left side, then what we're going to do is we're going to peek this fade over here on the right. And if they are in cover two, you're going to see that I can pass a that to the outside. And if I have set feet lead, trust me, it's a lot more open than it was right there, but it's open, right? I can throw that that fade or that wheel at will uh, against them, right? So again, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let my guy set here just to kind of show you some adjustments they're gonna make. So you're gonna see here something like this, okay? Now it becomes a simple read on this uh, on this tight end right here so you're looking you're looking at your fade and then you're looking at your tight end okay the fades open we're gonna you know throw that to the outside now again set feet lead makes that a thousand times better you're gonna be able to put that ball you know in a really really good spot so just trust me on that one it's it's really really good okay um, I'll show you a couple times you know what for fun but it's really hard to stop this if they're gonna play zone you know you're just gonna stand here boom throw that free form out there and yeah so really really good route against cover two let me show it to you one more time just so i can at least prove to you that i can throw this you don't have to have set feet lead but it is so helpful um especially in a situation uh like this so again here boom there you see throw it where only receiver can catch it and you're able to burn the cover two now let's say that that cornerback goes back with them. So let's say they do something like this, okay, to the right side. Hard flats in this game are terrible. Uh, they're one of the worst zones in the entire game. Literally by far one of the worst zones in the entire game. So when I am looking out here and I see the slot corner come and I see that, that backside corner uh, bail, then it's a very simple read. Like he bails, okay, we're throwing the out, and I'll and I'll throw it. I'll throw that out right right into the hard flat, because hard flats are so bad in this game. They're really 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 bad. So you know you're just gonna sit here if they're gonna play that cover three. Um, you know chances are they're really not gonna do this. I would highly doubt this. If this guy is truly gonna be in hard flat, we'll show you some stuff in a second that you can do um, that's gonna be open against this. But but again here your your primary thing what we're looking at 
is you know to the left side for sure and they're gonna have to use her that the other thing that I'm not getting at just yet is this um, is this tight end or um, this this post but again here look out here okay throw my tight end see how the flat route doesn't guard him very consistent okay so if you have the flat take the flat the flat is almost always open uh, to the tight end if they're not gonna if they're not playing cover two if that corner bails chances are your tight end is going to be open so now they're going to have to start doing something like like uh, like this right here so now they're going to have to basically stop to a degree stop blitzing you um, you're going to have something like this they're still going to have to use with a running back over here so they're not going to be able to hover very well for the pressure and then you're going to be in a scenario where they're going to be doing something like this now um, what you're going to get is, again, your tight end. Notice the flat zone is sucked inside. Uh, but the other thing that you have is this post right over the middle. So you saw that post coming wide open over the middle uh, of the field as well for you. Now, if they start to really get really um, blitz happy and you notice that like this guy's in a flat and you notice that this guy's over here like so, then what you can do to kind of adjust this a little bit is you can streak Waller. And then you can uh, basically drag Adams underneath. So this will just help kind of again because now they're going to go to the left side and I can just highball this into the seam against the zone blitz. So if they're really over adjusting to try to stop your base setup, that becomes a really, really good option. Now, truthfully, the best way to stop the running back is actually to just man him up, right? And the best way to stop the tight end is to, is to play that hard flat. So to do something like this. Now what this does is it puts them in a position where they have to go user and you have a little bit more time. Now you have to user, you know, the post route. I can still throw this this running back, but I'm not going to worry about it. I just want to show you this post. Really good read right over the middle of the field. So this play does a great job. It spaces the field really well. It attacks every blitz in the game. Um, it attacks the zone blitz, I think, really incredibly. And it's actually super simple to set up. And the other thing about this that's really underrated is the fact that it kind of baits them into manning up that slot. And he, he's basically pointless on the play other than just pulling out zones. So, you know, you're kind of playing a little cat and mouse game with who they're supposed to man up and how they're supposed to adjust to your U-trips. And when you mix this play in at the right time, I'm telling you right now, it's one of the best plays in Madden 23. I want to thank you for watching the video. And if you want to get my entire U-Trips offensive ebook, make sure that you join our Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to sign up for that. And it's going to get you access to all of my Madden 23 ebooks, including the U-Trips. Thanks for watching the video. And if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description of the video and click the link down below.